is the new Mitsubishi Strada Athlete, the current 4x4 pickup truck in the Mitsubishi range. We're gonna have a look around the car, take it for a drive, let you know what we think. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out and give this video a thumbs up today if you enjoy it. Now, one of the main standout things of this car is the look. We get a very aggressive looking pickup truck with the Mitsubishi Strada Athlete. We get the black grills. There's no chrome on this car whatsoever. Everything's black. It's sharing some of the design cues from other models. Sticking with the black theme, we get 18 inch alloy wheels all in this kind of gloss black. I think these look really, really cool. We get 220 millimeters of ground clearance on this car. But follow me, follow me. This is the main bit. With the Strada edition, you get this kind of, would you call this like a tiger stripe? You get this design all the way down the side. This comes as standard. So if you don't want your pickup truck to stand out, this might not be the one for you. I think they took inspiration from the Ford Raptor. With that vehicle, you get very bold design statements and that certainly is the case here as well. I like the two-tone with the back of the pickup compared to the rest of the bodywork. I think the orange and black works really well. Orange really is the only color to get this car in. We will explain why it's to do with the interior in a second. Back here, it's standard pickup affair. Huge amount of space here and I'll put on the screen the exact load it can take but it's quite impressive numbers. Got the clean diesel in this car which we'll talk about. Mitsubishi have been putting these in their other vehicles like the Montero Sport. Mitsubishi say that they've used their J-Line design to give you more space here for the rear passengers. Let's test it out. And actually yeah I mean the driving seat is in my position at the moment. I'm six foot two and a bit so currently with my driving position I don't have that much legroom but I have to say the headroom is impressive. I've got excess headroom here and I don't, I don't feel cramped. In the Montero Sport, which we drove recently, I felt a little bit cramped in the back. Back here though, it's pretty basic for your passengers. Center armrest, two cup holders and two USB charging ports. The black and orange theme continues. We get the black door handles and the black rail along here. Black mirror caps, all things that give it a kind of sleek design. I promise that my outfit was not intended for this car review today. I promise. So if you come with me to the front, you would have got a sneak peek of this already in the back seats, but you will notice the black and orange theme continues inside. Now, for some people who are sensitive to this kind of thing, you might think these two oranges clash. I kind of did at the start, but inside these seats are standard. The orange comes standard with the Strada Athlete, which you cannot change. So if you have some deep hatred for the color orange, this may not be the car for you, but let's hop inside, see what the interior has for us. Now this is where, for me, the car falls slightly flat. Now we have to remember it is a pickup. It's a utility vehicle. In the old days, pickups were not designed with comfort in mind. They were not designed with any particular luxuries in mind. These days they are a little bit more with other manufacturers and brands putting some of the luxuries from their other models into their pickups. Mitsubishi have done that. We do get the leather steering wheel with the flappy panel gearbox. We get Bluetooth, we get auxiliary, we get dual zone climate control. For some reason, feels slightly dated in here. It may be because we recently drove the Montero Sport. We have to remember that comes with a much higher price tag and that is more of a luxurious 4x4 vehicle. This is a pickup, we have to bear that in mind. And we can't criticize a pickup for feeling like a pickup, but it, it does feel like a pickup. But don't get me wrong, if you're upgrading from an older pickup, this is gonna feel way more luxurious. This is gonna feel way more modern. It's almost like they've gone halfway because look, we do get this soft leather detail along here, but then the rest of this is this kind of plastic material which continues into the whole dashboard. The leather actually then comes back in the center, which is a nice touch. You get this kind of detail here next to the gear shift. The center head unit is touchscreen. The seats are full leather, fairly comfortable. Nothing too exciting, but nothing to complain about either. A nice touch is that you do get full electric adjustability, but only on the driver's seat. The passenger seat controls are manual. A lot of headroom up front. Center armrest, which is non-adjustable, but for me it's in a quite a good position. A very, very deep cubby hole, two cup holders, and another little area for storage here. It feels right for the price point of this vehicle, but something about it, looking here, it feels, for some reason, it does feel a little dated. So we're gonna have a chat about the engine in this car, the performance. We're gonna take it for a little drive. Something I wanna mention straight away is the automatic gearbox. We are in the four wheel drive model and I believe all the four wheel drive models come with the six speed automatic gearbox. You do get a six speed manual available in the two wheel drive variant. I don't know if it's just me, but the design of the gear stick to me just feels quite unnatural. It's quite clunky. It sort of goes down these steps like some kind of puzzle to get into the gear you want. It doesn't feel doesn't feel smooth, it feels a bit clunky. Maybe that 
does suit the personality of the car. This is a rugged off-road vehicle. Maybe this is supposed to demonstrate climbing mountains. I don't know, <laughs> but for me, I probably would have preferred just a simple downshift into drive. We get a 2.4 liter clean diesel engine, which gives out 180 horsepower, 430 newton meters of torque. And I have to say, Mitsubishi themselves, in fact, say on their website that they have put their heritage rally DNA into this pickup truck. And you can kind of tell. I mean, we can't do it right now because we're in a very gravelly off-road car park. But once we get on the road, I'll show you a little acceleration test. And off the line, this thing feels quick. Without attracting too much attention to ourselves, I will put my foot down a little bit on these gravelly bumps. We've got some puddles, some rocks, some mud. It's been raining recently in Manila. And as you can hopefully tell by the camera, we are just cruising over absolutely everything. We're still just in two wheel drive mode. If I switch into four wheel drive mode, we've got some nice mud here. The Strada takes completely in its stride. No problem at all. Don't even have to slow down for these bumps. Us as passengers are still comfortable. Let me just check my camera person. Comfortable? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our coffees hopefully are not spilling. I wish we could give this more of a full off road test. So 2.4 litre diesel engine, 108 horsepower, off the line test, we'll just slightly rolling. Acceleration test now. Ooh. Feels really good. It feels quick off the line, pushes you back into your seat. You really, really feel that torque kick in. How does this feel to drive? It feels good. It's less heavy steering than the Montero Sport. You sit very, very high up on the road. You've got a nice view of the road and the bonnet. I said the same thing in the Montero Sport review. The paddle shifters, although hmm, fairly responsive. Let's give them another try quickly. Actually, that gear change was a little slow. Something that I don't think is really truly necessary. I always say it's a little bit of a gimmicky feature when you have paddle shifters in four by fours. Although if you are on a challenging hill climb, over rocks and you really need those two hands on the steering wheels and you want to make quick gear changes then having the gear changes right near your hands could be a good feature but i've never used it personally in that way you do also get a sport mode down on the gear shift and actually the gear shifts do feel a little bit quicker there compared to the paddles so in this model the four wheel drive we do get the same four options as the montero sport so you get the two wheel drive for everyday kind of city driving on normal tarmac the two wheel drive is where you want to be perfectly capable still feels nice and powerful you then get 4h which is four wheel drive high range so you can use that in normal driving situations as well or when it starts to get a little bit more rocky maybe in the rain to give you some extra traction then we get 4h lc for more off-roading and then the ultimate 4 llc which is low range four wheel drive for steep hill climbs and when the terrain gets really really rough and rocky so if you're in the market for a mid-sized pickup and your favorite color is orange then the strada athlete may be for you the four-wheel drive model comes in at around 1.8 million philippine pesos the two-wheel drive slightly less but we've had a good time with the strada athlete a very capable off-road vehicle lots of space with the pickup utility and yeah just a ton of orange 